Good morning, everyone. So today we're in the city of Oaxaca, which is the capital of the state of Oaxaca. So completely a different area that we were in before. Before we were in like the Cancun, uh, Quintana Roo, Yucatan area. And we came here on a flight two days ago. We haven't really done much, we've just been resting. Also editing, working, gotta stop sometimes to do that. And as usual, I'll just give you a quick tour of the place we're staying. So right now I'm on the balcony and we seem to be in some like cool old colonial building. You can see like the old fountain here and there's like a square. Not sure what this would have been, but yeah, it looks really nice around here. You can even see the tops of the churches there. And then it's a very simple place. So this is $25, maybe the cheapest place we've stayed so far, I think. So we've got a kitchen as usual. It is a, an apartment, so yeah, we got all that kind of stuff. And then got the bedroom too. And other than that, we just have these little chairs and a seating area here. And this is just where we have breakfast in the morning. So that's it for the quick tour. Now we're just gonna head out and explore Oaxaca. A lot of people say that this place is incredible. As you can see, this place is also very colorful, just like where we visited Valladolid in Yucatan. It's actually a similar vibe as yeah. Valladolid. Yeah, it's similar, just a bigger city here. Yeah, here's a bigger version of like Valladolid. Yeah. Literally all the buildings are colorful, so really beautiful place to walk. And we're on this street here, we're right in the center. So about two blocks down this way is the main square. That's where we're going to head now. So the area that we've come to now is the main square called uh, the Zocalo. That's what they call them everywhere pretty much. And this is definitely the busiest area. There's loads of people around here. So you get like the markets here. There's loads of restaurants and bars. The market goes all the way around the whole square pretty much. And here is the Cathedral of Oaxaca. So I read that they started building that in the 1500s and then I think it suffered damage during earthquakes and it's been reconstructed numerous times. You can see the clothes and different items in the market are super colorful. Like the indigenous colors, the clothes that they wear, they're always like super colorful, multicolored. It's nice all the colors, right? Yeah. Like, like the buildings. Yeah, everything's colorful here. Yeah, pretty much.
So we stopped at one of the juice stalls. I think they call them Agua Fresca stalls, something like that. And we got some interesting drinks that we've never had before. So mine was, uh, what is it called again? You <laughs> forgot the name. Horchata. Horchata, yeah. Yeah, this one is Horchata and that is rice milk and canela. Yeah. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Yeah. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. It something seems like to have some pieces of, I don't know, fruit or something, orange. And what's yours? Uh, I think it's hibiscus iced tea, something like that. And A hibiscus. Mexico, yeah, Mexico. That's word. called Jamaica, right? Yeah, Jamaica. Yeah, and these were like 15 each. Cheers. Cheers. Nice and cold though. Yeah. Let's see what you think of yours. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's not my favorite juice, no? but it's good. I can drink the whole What does it taste thing. like? Hibiscus. <laughs> Hibiscus. Yeah, yeah, it's good. it's good. It's good for like a, a hot day like today. Let me try mine. I can really taste the cinnamon. Carol is allergic to cinnamon, so she can't try it. But yeah, it is like a milky texture and a very strong cinnamon taste. Let's try mine. Looks like wine. Yeah. <laughs> Very mild taste. My, mine's yeah. like a really strong taste. Mm. I still like it though. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's, it's nice. Good. Yeah, these are very popular here apparently. Mm. I think they have other kinds as well. Yeah. Maybe we'll try more in another video. So we found yet another beautiful old church. Not sure what the name of this one is. And once again, the markets and check this out. I think that's uh, Luchador, right? The Mexican wrestlers. Ah, there's loads of nice artwork around here. So normally you'd be able to enter all these beautiful big churches. I think that's one of the main things to do here. Like there's museums and stuff, but because of COVID, you can't enter anywhere. And a lot of the attractions, like the best ones, are actually shut right now. There's a place nearby, I think it's called Hieve El Agua, that looks absolutely beautiful. It's like on a mountain, some natural pool, but Unfortunately, it's closed. The only thing that's open is the big archaeological site that we'll probably include in this video. So at least we get to visit that place. But it would have been awesome to see how these places looked on the inside. Got these cool plants around here as well. Check that out. And there's loads of rooftop restaurants and bars around here. So I think in a while after we start walking, we'll probably check out one of these spots and you should have a great view of this church. Come to some really beautiful area here. I'm not even sure what it's called. More of a walking area, there's no road, but you get all the nice colorful houses. And the best part is this sort of uh, bridge, I guess. I'm not even sure what it is, or like a aqueduct thing. Yeah, so I'm guessing this must have been really old. Looks like some of the arches are used for like storage now. And then others are like a little passageway to the street. Ah, cool, so check it out. There is actually some houses under the arches <laughs> pretty cool spot to have your front door to your house <laughs> to one of those rooftop restaurants and this is the awesome view that church that we were at before got the amazing mountainous landscapes behind as well what's the name of this place Hotel yeah and if you're not staying in the hotel you can still use the, yeah, the, rooftop, restaurant. the rooftop yeah and i think those mountains there in the background is where the archaeological zone is 
Yeah, we've got our flour. That's one of the cool things about Oaxaca when we were flying into here. The mountainous landscapes are absolutely incredible. I should have filmed the flight here. If I knew it was going to be so good, I would have done. So I got these bits of tuna here. Seems like there's guacamole and some sort of sweet potato. And I think this on the top is like uh, crickets. They eat that a lot in Mexico. And that was 225. And yours is ceviche, right? Mm -hmm. Of what? Of the tuna. At tuna the... ceviche. Yeah. And how much was that? Uh, 150, I think. Oh, yeah? Then I also got a mojito, mojito. of mezcal, which is a famous uh, alcoholic drink here. And in Mexico. In Mexico, and it was 100 pesos. Yeah. So obviously the fancy restaurants are always more pricey and you don't get much food, right? <laughs> I've barely got any food. You're paying for the view though. Tasty. Oh, it's really good. So it might not be like a lot of food, but absolutely delicious. That might be one of the tastiest tunas I've ever had. Okay. Even the cricket crust. Never had, I've never had cricket before. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what sauce they put on this, but it's amazing. What about yours? Really good. Really good also? trip our van trip to the archaeological site the company that we're using is called autobuses turisticos and it's 80 pesos per person and that's round trip so yeah pretty good price that's like four dollars each right yeah for the round trip so i think this is the other kind of trips that they do as well and this is where we wanted to go but it's closed it looks awesome it's like a natural pool it's a shame <laughs> but we go into this place so not so bad No drones. No drones. Yeah. Yeah. So it took about 20 to 30 minutes to get here in the van. There was only two other people, I think, in the van, two or four people. There isn't that many people here at all. It's really empty. And it was 80 per person to enter. So yeah, pretty good price as well. And the drive here was really interesting because you had the amazing views. We're really high up, I guess we're on one of the highest hills around here. So this is the first ruins that we've come across, which is apparently a tomb of an important person. Doesn't really say who. It says it was constructed around uh, the years 500 to 700 AD. I think this might be their local language, the native language, I mean, pretty sure. And I think I forgot to say the name of this place, so it's called Monte Alban. I guess that's like a Spanish name, right? Yeah. So look at this for an awesome view here at the top. So this part over here is Oaxaca. And then on the other side of this hill, all this side is actually a different, different uh, municipalities. I overheard a guide saying there's over 500 here. So all this area isn't Oaxaca anymore. Only over there where we're staying. But yeah, it looks absolutely epic with all the huge mountains. Basically surrounded all by mountains here. Check out this interesting plant. Never seen this kind of plant before. No idea what it is. Look at that, nice and colorful. So 
so far on this point you can see pretty much the center of the archaeological site so there's loads of pyramids all these are pyramids over there as well so we're gonna head into that part all right even higher hill now so yeah that's the area that I was showing you just before and then on this side yeah you can just see there's loads of other little I guess towns villages it's crazy super tiring to walk around here right I think it's yeah, the altitude the altitude yeah I think it's over a thousand meters high yeah so it's a lot different from where we were before in Kanko yeah to walk around yeah. Yeah, so this is where the proper pyramid structures start. I don't think you can climb any of them, but yeah, they're impressive just looking from here anyway. And just some information about this place. So the previous uh, ruins that we have visited, right, were in uh, like Quintana Roo and Yucatan, and those were the Mayan civilization. This over here is completely different. It's the Zapotec civilization, so the Zapotecs. The construction here began around uh, the 500 BC, that's what I read. And this was the capital of their civilization. So even around here before 500 BC, there were other areas, other ruins and stuff that you can visit, but none of them are, are as impressive as this one. So this is why this is like the main famous one for tourists to visit. So it reminds us a bit of Teotihuacan near Mexico City, the ruins there, like a mini version of it because it's all very flat. There's obviously no like jungle and trees like the, the ones that we visited uh, recently. From a lot of the places you can actually just see all of the pyramids already. It's pretty cool, like everywhere you look you can see like cool ruins. And then on this side also. It's a big complex. I think I read it, it'll take like two to three hours to walk around everything. We must be not even halfway yet, right? No, no. <laughs> There's a lot to see. Yeah, loads to see. So this place seems to just get bigger and bigger as you walk around. And I read that there was a time where 17,200 people lived around here. So that made it one of the biggest Mesoamerican cities at the time. So it's been kind of crazy to imagine that amount of people around here. Obviously this isn't like the living quarters. I'm not actually sure how they would have lived. Maybe it's like the Mayans and the wooden huts because you don't really ever see any of the living quarters at any of the ruins that you visit. So yeah, I think that might be why because it's like made out of wood, right? Didn't didn't last until now. What's this? Observatory. Oh, astronomic observatory. Yeah, I think apparently they had like a pretty accurate calendars, right? Yeah, yeah, like it says here to calculate agricultural cycles. So they needed to know the, I, I don't know, the, the seasons, to you know, when to, when they would have food, or they would to... When they can plant, stuff, yeah, like, that. stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, they were very Definitely positive. can't plant right now. <laughs> Daily astronomical observations enabled pre-Hispanic society of Monte Alban to calculate agricultural cycles. Yeah, it allowed them to determine the proximity of the rainy season, as well as the time to recollect medicinal plants. So check this out, this observatory here actually has a doorway. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. You can't go inside though because of this gate, but yeah, there's definitely a passageway inside. That would have been cool to check out. Time for some exercise. You ready? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> this is probably the best view of the complex. Up these stairs, pretty tiring, but look at that for a view. 
Kyle was just saying that I need the drone. <laughs> yeah, it would be cool, but we can't. Yeah, I can't. But this would be an awesome drone shot just going over there. Incredible. So here we have some stone objects called Galeria de los Danzantes and if I show you a bit closer you'll be able to see the carvings. So I think originally they thought that it was images of people dancing because of the positions but now they believe that it's actually enemies um, being tortured or something. So yeah a lot different to dancing. They have loads of them though. So we're just waiting for the bus to pick us back up. It basically comes every hour until 4 p.m. So you can kind of stay as long as you want. Just got to make sure it doesn't pass 4 p.m. That's all. And definitely worth coming here because it's so close. And overall it was $8 per person. So yeah, great price. And that's including everything, the transport and entry fee. So yeah, definitely got to visit here if you're in Oaxaca. So that's it for this video. Still not that late, but we've just done so much walking. It's a shame that some of the attractions are open because uh, yeah, the video would have been a lot better, but it's still been really nice. Just walking around these colorful cities is already beautiful anyway. It's like one big piece of art pretty much. And obviously the ruins were amazing. And I think in the next video, we're gonna do like a food tour around here because this area is famous for its food. So that should be the next one coming up. So if you like this video, just drop a like as always. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram and I'll see you in the next one.